it's Jean with Beauty and the Stamper. And I have come to realize that a lot of you are new stampers. And I wanted to show you from beginning to end when I get my bundles, what I do. So I have the new Simply Zinnia stamp set and I have the dies. So these are cling set stamps. So we're gonna make those, I'll show you how to do that. And the photopolymer you just leave as is. So you can keep them together. You can take them and you can um, bundle them with a rubber band. Speaking of bundling, you guys are gonna have a special in the month of June. I think it's starting on the 5th, I could be wrong. I will say so in my newsletter. You can go to beautyandthestamper.com to um, subscribe to that newsletter. It'll pop up as soon as you go there. And uh, that will have the exact dates. But I like to keep all of mine together. So you can keep it in here, but it's often a pain in the butt to come and find the, the right one because I, of course, do not um, band mine together. But I take these and I take this part and you'll see in the back that there is a whole extra spot there. So I just take mine and make sure it's right side up. And so I have it just like that. So when I see something like this in the back, I know that the dies are in here. So you can take your dies and you can put them in there just as is. But again, these are a pain in the butt to get out. So what I do is I buy these magnetic strips from um, Amazon and I could put the link down in the description for you. But you guys, they're already stickered. So I just take them and I put them in here. Now they do make a larger size, which would have been nicer for me to get, but I wasn't sure when I ordered them. And this still has worked out just fine for me. So to keep these all together, you just take them off. Now what you want to do is there is some really tough tape in here. You're just going to peel them just like that. And I let them sit off the side and they're going to stick on there just fine. And I kind of try and put them on. Again, I'm peeling the paper away. I kind of let them, uh, I put them on the way that they are on here. And then I figure that's going to get me the best way for them to sit on here. So again, I got that. I know this one fits right there. This guy's going to fit right there. And this little one's going to fit right there. And you see, even though they're cut off, they're still sticking on there very nicely. I still have plenty of room. This one might be a little difficult because I don't have the room for that. So I'm going to stick it right there and we will see what happens. And again, see how hard that was. But if you just pull the paper away, it's going to work a lot better. This one. And then you've got this one here. And I am going to just arrange this a little bit differently here. Just to give myself room. But I know that this one fits in there rather well. And then I try and kind of go with the bigger ones first. And look, I'm going to have plenty of room for that. Now, sometimes they come with uh, two, a large set. Then you just grab another one of these. And I just put it on here and then set it right in there so that I always have it. And it, it just makes it so much easier. You just pull them off quick and easy like that. They stick back on. And these little guys aren't going anywhere. So that's how I do that part. Now this part, I'm gonna close this up just for a minute, set it off to the side. This one, I take off this whole entire sheet. And as I'm doing it, I just try and grab the others along the way. And sometimes they pull off and sometimes they don't. But I just take what I can 
You can take them off one by one if you choose to, but I just kind of like to do it all in one foul swoop. And then I can go back and again, take them off one by one if you want. And then, what I do is I take the whole thing off right here. So I'm gonna be doing this larger flower. So I take that off. I take the flower out. And then I look to see where this kind of goes. So I see that flat side and that flat side. Right where these curves, I look for the curve and I put them on and then I just curve around and then it pulls off and it's perfectly placed in there. So then I'll do the next one and I just go through and I do all of these. Just like that. And I make sure I take this sticker off first um, because you don't want to try and take this sticker while you have one of these. And you do want to keep these fairly clean, right? Dust free. So as soon as you let it go, as soon as you open it, you want to work on these and not have them just sit there. So yes, I could fast forward this, but I just wanted to say hello to you all for a little while. You guys, I had a stamp class scheduled and I had to cancel it. I had an allergic reaction to something, ended up in the, um, whoop. so I'm going to take this, I'm going to stick that right down. And then again, I see that spot and then put those around. Anyways, I ended up in the urgent care at three o'clock in the morning with a lip that was, I'll tell you what, if it was not this big, my top lip, you, uh, I'm not exaggerating. It was crazy. And uh, so I was there for a few hours. They gave me a steroid shot and I was supposed to have a class that day but I could I could barely talk my lip was so huge so fortunately I was able to breathe I, I was still great with my oxygen my vitals were all good so they had me take down my shorts and give me a nice shot in the behind and then they gave me some more meds to take throughout the week. Um, some kind of antihistamine, I think it wasn't Benadryl, it was like, um, it was like a Zyrtec, or something like that. And a whole box of steroids to take. So, I mean, I was, I was pumped up. I thought, <laughs> steroids, wow, I should go to the gym and get some muscles out of this. But it went down, and since I couldn't really do anything, and my parents, they live in California, I decided to go and see them because they had seen my face, and they were just so worried. And I don't know, if you have children, just to hear them is one thing, but to see their face and touch them and hug them, you know, it just does everybody so much better. So I took a quick trip out there to go see them and they were very happy. Okay, so I've got all these and now it's up to you. If you put them upside down, you're still gonna be able to pull them off. Um, and then I just stick these in here upside down so I can see what's going on. And if you put them this way, you can, but when you move them around, they're gonna slide and they will stick to your dies that way. So I put them on that way. 
and now I am ready. That's it. That is how I prepare my set. And now I just close that up and I could stick it right in there and I can see the Simply Zinnias. For the most part, I know that there's dies. I could put a sticker right here that says dies, but for the most part, I know that there's dies in there. So that is how I get my um, bundles ready from start to finish. And again, there is going to be a special where you can save not only the regular 10% of the bundle, but an additional percentage on top of that. And I mentioned in my last video that when you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can also um, use those savings. You get to take advantage of the specials and you get um, your commissions on that as well. So you guys go to beautyandthestamper.com if you want to hear more about anything I talked about. And I cannot wait to use that Simply Zinnia stamp set, and we will be making some fun cards. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you later. Bye!